வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் சிக்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கியூட்ஸ் பை அலெக்சாண்டர் அண்ட் சடிக்யூஸ் ஃபிஃப்த் எடிஷன் டு டிடர்மின் வோல்டேஜஸ் வி ஒன் த்ரூ வி த்ரீ இந்த சர்க்கியூட் ஆஃப் ஃபிகர் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் சிக்ஸ் ஃபார் யூசிங் நோடல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஸோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் ஃபார் நோடல் அனாலிசிஸ் இன் திஸ் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கியூட் ப்ராப்ளம் ஓகே ஸோ ஹியர் வி ஹாவ் த்ரீ நோட்ஸ் ரைட் திஸ் இஸ் நோட் ஒன் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் நோட் டூ அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் நோட் த்ரீ this is a dependent voltage source so this dependent voltage source is not connected with the reference this is our reference node so we have a non reference dependent voltage source so these two nodes can be taken as super node so this is coming under super node analysis so in this case we have to deal it in a different way right another thing is here we have one cms that means this represents a um, conductance not a resistance so we have to convert it into resistance how to convert just by finding the reciprocal okay so here it is 1 by 2 ohms resistance and this 1 by 8 ohm resistance and this is 1 by 4 ohm resistance so one current is flowing here that is 2 amps current is flowing into this first node and here we can mark this as some i1 current is leaving here i can say this i3 current is also leaving this first to know and we can take here that i2 is also leaving and here we can take this as i4 okay that is leaving this v2 and entering into this v3 node like that we can take that's okay so now we'll proceed how to solve this for this super node first we'll write okay v1 minus v2 is equal to 2v0 is it we can write okay so we have one equation first so now we are applying kcl for the super node so we will look at now what are the currents which are entering into this node 1 and 2 so this 2 ampere current alone is entering so that is equal to the sum of the leaving currents so i1 current is leaving plus i3 current is leaving and this i2 is also leaving plus the i4 is also leaving okay so we have to consider both first node as well as the second node because it is a super node okay now let's apply ohms law to the i1 i2 i3 and i4 so i1 is that can be written as v1 minus 0 because this is our reference node isn't it so v1 minus 0 this is reference node v1 minus 0 divided by 1 ohm plus what is i3 i3 is leaving v1 and entering into v3 right so it is v1 minus v3 divided by 1 by 2 plus what is i2 i2 is leaving v2 right so v2 by that is 1 by 4 plus the i4 what is i4 it is v2 minus v3 divided by 1 by 8 so we have got one equation and here also we have to notice another thing that v2 is equal to this v0 both are same right uh, later on we can replace this v2 by v0 okay okay now we'll continue so this 2 is equal to v1 plus 2 times this v1 minus v3 plus 4 into v2 plus 8 into v2 minus v3 this is 2 is equal to v1 plus 2 v1 minus 2 v3 plus 4 v2 plus 8 v2 minus 8 v3 so we can write this as 2 is equal to 3v1 plus 12v2 minus 10v3 right okay so i can rewrite like this and we know that this v2 and v0 are the same because here we have this v0 and at this point this v2 is available similarly if you look at this this is v3 that is nothing but the 13 volts is net so we can substitute these things here 
so it is 3 v1 plus 12 v0 instead of v2 we write it as v0 minus 10 into this 30 ohms okay that is equal to 2 so it is 3 v1 plus 12 v0 minus 130 is equal to 2 so you can write it like 3 v1 plus 12 v0 that is equal to 132 so this is our second equation we can now bring back that first equation what is first equation at the super node it is v1 minus v2 okay v1 minus v2 is equal to 2 v0 isn't it and we know that this v2 is nothing but v0 so you can write this as v1 is equal to 3 v0 so let's take this as first equation in the modified form v1 is equal to 3 v0 can be substituted in second equation okay so substitute 1 dash in 2 so what we get it is 3 into 3 v0 plus 12 v0 that is equal to 132 so it is 9 v0 plus 12 v0 that is equal to 132 so this is 21 v0 is equal to 132 so what is v0 v0 is equal to 132 divided by 21 this is equal to 6.285 volts. Okay, so we got one answer. And we need to find out this V1 and V3 also, right? So, V1 minus V2 is 2 V0, isn't it? So, this is V0, right? So, V1 is equal to 3 V0. So, that is equal to 3 times... That's 6.285. So this is equal to V1 values 18.855 volts. Okay. V3 already it is available in the problem itself. It is 13 volts. So we got all the three answers. V0 or V2 that is nothing but 6.285 Okay, so we got them, so thank you.